Hello, and this is video log five for my for Tim, my relay computer. Um, sorry about the previous video logs; they've all been on my phone because I've had the battery charged for this up in Wales for some reason. Um, but I've got it back now, and it's all charged up. So hopefully, we get some half decent quality videos. I'm going to run you through the startup process for Tim. Um, but first of all, I'll just show you what's on the front panel when I before I get to that. Okay, so on the front panel we have the amp meter telling you how much power it's taking there, the on off switch the motor control switch so that's normal speed and then that's overclocked if you push it down off the middle the instruction counter just telling you how many instructions it's executed in total it can be reset with this button here um, this is the register select switch so you've got five registers so it's five select points. Uh, you So basically how that works is you put in a number, say 5, like that, press the red button and it will load it into whichever register this is pointing to. That's So say it's down there, it will load into the X register which is the bottom. That's the A register, B register, C register, D register. Um, it was originally supposed to have lights in here but I kind of got wires over top of that and haven't got around to moving those wires so they're unlikely to go in in the end. So it's going to be holes there. Um, I still have to fit the. You can see just on the video these two diodes here haven't got any wires on them. That's the um, C and D registers. I haven't actually wired up to the load circuits yet, so if you can't actually load constants into those registers. Um, but yeah, moving back on to what we were, I was saying earlier. Um, this. I, I'm going to do a startup pro run with the um, same program I did yesterday. I shall get another program in a minute. But this is just, I only, I'm only using this program because it's the one program that works properly at the moment. I have still haven't finished debugging various of the functions. Um, this is the program printed out on uh, receipt pa paper from my computer. I've got a compiler on the computer that just works out. You type it up in machine code on your notepad, and then it'll. Then I have a compiler that'll pro write it into a bitmap file. And you can just print it out as normal. So all the, all this is do, does is uh, beginning of the loop, clear the X register, uh, increment the X register, and then uh, loop back, load it to A, and then loop back, and that's all that really does. Um, so I shall show you the startup procedure. Just plugged in, good. Um, okay, so you have make sure that's in the middle. Power on. Uh, you feed the tape into the back. As such, hopefully this will work. And then you flick the motor switch up to pull in the tape, and it should start. There you go. And that's it. Just counting. Um, this program only runs on normal speed. If you overclock it as such, it it does that, and the, the carry over the carry doesn't clear at some time, so it goes wrong horribly. Um, I'll stop that and then show a program. And I'll just clear it by turning it off and on, like good old Windows. Um, this. It's an overclocked program. It, all this is all this is um, is just loading 255 into the X register. You can see the difference. The execute lines on this one is much is much shorter, so it runs much faster as a program. This this was only made just to just to see how fast the computer can actually run. So if I load this in overclocked, hopefully it'll work. Sometimes it doesn't because it it's a relay computer. It doesn't like running that fast, but we'll see how it goes. They run up into normal speed, so you can see them fast and first. So that's, that's normal speed, so that's what doesn't normal speed. Overclocked. Is that. Notice it's, it's slightly faster. Um, haven't quite calculated the exact um, command second, but it is quite fast for what it is. Um, 
I can just show you various bits. But I haven't quite calculated how many hertz that is, but I think it's around 10. It wouldn't be very hard, I'll just look at this video in a bit and put it in description probably. Um, I have various other programs, uh, should be around, here it is. Um, this program here is one single multiplication of two numbers. As you can see it's excessively long, but Tim was designed to be as flexible as possible um, out of the minimum number of relays so it could do the maximum possible things out of a very small amount of relays, so therefore um, things that they, they, as a penalty of that, I had to um, use a greater number of instructions, and which basically just decreased the speed of the computer. But it was it can still do everything that it, any other computer can do. It's still a Turing, Turing complete computer, as far as I know. I'm not sure whether it can do single, single nested loops, but can't do nested ifs yet. But I don't know whether it has how to be unlimited nested loops to be a Turing machine. So you might be able to help me on that. Um, I should move that. But yeah, I should on uh, just unfold Tim for you just to demonstrate how it unfolds. So if I turn that off and get rid of the power cable. Um okay, so basically you want to do this catch here. Move that and then you fold that down like that, that down like that, and that like that, preferably removing the tape in mind. Oops, knock over my light. I won't do that. And then you fold that like that, and then that like that. Fortunately, that end doesn't quite fold flat. The control panels in the way, but it's, this is this is how I this is how it, I use it when I when I'm working on it. Um, because you can't get to that power in socket there. There's this external internal one even uh, power socket there, which you can plug into and run the computer as in its laid out stage. Um, I don't think I've previously talked you through the internal stage of Tim, so I'll do that now because I'm so lazy. Oh, I've only got 20, 25 seconds left, so I'll do it quickly. Um, that's the control. That's the control in program decoder. That's the tape reader. That's the ALU, which you may have seen on earlier videos. That's the four registers, the X registers on the edge of the ALU there, um, and that's the control panel. A bit more light on that, just pull the tape ones out. There you go. Um, okay, and see you next video. Okay, bye.